by using jquery ui autocomplete we can suggest the user about the search they want so you can see we are uh, uh, suggesting the user based on their require based on the entered words now let us say we right we the end then the details of the records are also displayed we will understand how to achieve this visit this url at the description and scroll down to the end here the zip file is there you can download it for your uh, study and the entire script with database details are also available visit this url available in your description scroll down and copy the jquery ui basic structure let us paste the code here so we'll start the first the input input type is equal to type equal to text id is equal to we are using auto complete so let us give auto c you can give your own name now let us come back to the jquery you can note that this is a ui so already ui is jquery ui is connected here so now directly we will write the function so selector first will select uh, auto underscore c is our selector we are given it you can see we have given id is auto c so we are using the selector here now auto complete now let us mark this okay this is our code we will first let us define the source source is now say php we can continue few more and uh, end with uh, this one but let us copy this code i'm just copying from the site control c and pasting it here okay so this is now the source is defined okay this many sources i have given now the um, search will be picked up or the filtering will be done based on this data only so let us uh, refresh it and see it is appearing now let me start with j you can see jquery and javascript is picked up okay i will not use j i will let me use p so php wherever p is available the code is picked up this is how the autocomplete picks up when a source is given as a array so this source is available here array so from this source but in real life situation this source may not be enough because we need to pick up the data from a database and all slowly we'll move towards that let us use an array with having with in uh, value and label both as objects so let us paste one data here we are collecting you can see this array we are declared as my variable here and this my variable has label as name and value is the id here you can see the every record has a value and every record has a label also the label data is here and the value data is here any other one you pick up here the label and a value so these objects are available we will use these objects these objects for our connecting to the source now let us uh, remove this old one and declare that myware is our name of the variable so the source is now myware myware we have declared it here so entire this database it's an array with uh, object having label and values now let us save this see how it works we'll pick up anything now let us say um, pi it picks up from the from this list you can see ti and it is there so anything you, you want to pick up you can pick up suppose tes label is tes now let me just give tes so it picks up two tes are there so based on this uh, you can keep a database uh, or a take a output from a database and keep it in a variable and uh, use it as a source now this you can see that these are the source we are connected it to my variable now here the filtering is done based on the uh, what the user is entering in the in the text field or autocomplete now let us see that we can observe that uh, such a requirement may come that we may have to source it from a different file whenever we give a file file name that this is my source 
then the filtering is not be done by the auto complete plugin rather it will it will send the uh, string or whatever we entered in here suppose i am entering uh, a l e now this a l e will go to the backend and the data will be taken will be displayed as a, as suggest or as options for the user to select but it will not filter it but right now what it is doing is it is also filtering for me so you can see now in the next we will see how the uh, source is used for to pick up data from a file before using the autocomplete with a database let us understand how the uh, how we can handle the selected value now we are connected to the uh, array now my var is our variable so now once the user select what happens let us uh, create the select part of it select function we have e comma ui now here let us have it fine so this is the code uh, we can write where it will be um, let us write one allot function where we will be displaying the value select the label and value both we can display one or we can we will try to display both so let us in the i ui dot item dot value now let us first print the value of it so let us uh, save it refresh now let me try one alex john now the alerts alert says that six is there okay so because the for this the value the value part of it is six now instead of uh, value let us uh, display the label so now label is of course what we are selecting only uh, let us say sorry we are not refreshed it wait this is undefined item ui item label l a b e l fine let's save this refresh now item is let us say Hari. Now the label has come. Now, if we want to uh, display both, then we will use a plus ui dot item dot value. Now, this uh, this should display the. Let us refresh it. Ronald. Okay, Ronald. Eleven. Eleven is the value associated and the ronald is the label associated with the uh, selection of the user instead of using a array as a source we'll uh, now what you did is we have copied the entire data and kept it on a external file source.txt now this is our file where we are expected it to source so what we will do we'll change the source direction here we'll instead of the pointing to the variable we'll will point to the file where we are stored this one so let us save this and uh, this is of no use anyway we are just connected it now let us refresh it we are refresh this now let us see we'll type what you can see is it's entirely copying the it's not filtering it is just showing me the all the uh, data available in our file in our source text file so the filtering is not done to understand how to filter it from external sources we have to we will use database and in the database we will use the backend php code along with mysql to filter records and push it back to as a uh, suggest to the user that is what our uh, uh, you when you use a search engine you will expect that because uh, it is not picked up from a uh, static file it is picked up from a dynamic file where where it gets the data from a database that part you will see in our part 2 and you can get the link at the top here just visit this link and understand how we connect autocomplete to a backend database